Okay, we are back again with a name that maybe does not ring a bell, but here we have Emil Sokolowski. So he, now you can take advantage of this moment, so you can take his address and uh, and um, and contact, uh, and you will uh, be able to contact him because uh, most probably he's going to uh, show very interesting things. Uh, you are there in the corner uh, in a stand uh, with uh, who, who more? Uh, who else? Is with uh, Raymond from the Merlin. Uh, one moment. Yes, it's running. Okay. Raymond from the Merlin, and uh, well, he is demonstrating the flash jacks audio. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, I'm s selling some of my uh, own made uh, hardware PCBs. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. And what uh, uh, I see that you make uh, several things. One of them, I guess, it's uh, here. I see something that uh, looks familiar to me. I, I guess this is for connecting um, a joystick or, or a mouse. No, more the Sega game pads. Aha, uh -huh. the Sega Mega Drive. Yes, the Sega Mega Drive uh, game pads. Uh, mm -hmm. You need a converter for it because. Uh, when you plug it uh, into a uh, MSX, uh, most of the times uh, it goes wrong. <laughs> uh -huh. And this one uh, also uh, has a chip, so it can uh, implement uh, in some software the the game buttons. If you have a three-button gamepad, you uh -huh. can use three buttons. If you have a six-button gamepad, you can all use all six buttons. Okay. Okay. So it go. Uh, it works with every. Uh, Sega Mega Drive pad. Yes. Yes. Okay, and the, and the buttons are fully functional, and you can use yes. them. Yes. If the if the game supports it, so if someone uh, changes the routines in the games, they can use it in the game directly. Uh, Sofa Run, one of the well most promising uh, mm -hmm. uh, game runners in M6 world, uses it also. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, use your gamepad to completely uh, uh, command and uh, use your uh, games from okay. the sofa, of course. Okay, what what else here? You have uh, uh, there is something else with uh, a joystick port that you have here. Yeah, here. that's the that's a um, uh, PC uh, PS2 mouse to uh, MSX converter. Okay. The original design is from uh, M6 Pro, uh -huh. uh, and I just uh, changed the, of used that schematic, and built this uh, PCB. Mm -hmm. So, is if anyone is interested in only the PCB or with components, both is possible. Okay. Uh, but the, the PS2 isn't, isn't it uh, difficult to find right now? Uh, the the, the well, mouses. Uh, PS2 mouses. No, most anyone has them uh, lying around somewhere, or they're uh, they can still be bought uh, for about uh, seven euros on eBay and okay. marketplaces. <laughs> most of them brand new, so so fine, fine. And uh, the party is not uh, yet over. I see a few things, and I'm missing already so a few other. Um, this is uh, this is small board over here. Yeah, it's a small uh, PCB for uh, a single APROM. Yeah, so it's making for making a cartridge. Yes. Uh, so but how many kilobytes? Uh, Sixty-four. Sixty-four. So uh, just a small. Uh, it, 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 it's the max APROM that. Uh, uh, MSX can uh, read linear okay. without external electronics. Okay, so you you plug you plug here the EPROM. You yeah. uh, you make some uh, breaches here. Yeah, some and th and that's all. Yeah, some selections uh, for uh, the addresses, and uh, if you use uh, mm, A15 and A14 the address lines, if you want to use them or sw or swap them around. Mm -hmm. You have some uh, Konami games that may use the trick to uh, swap two blocks, and if you burn it in APROM, it doesn't work. So you have to swap two address lines mm -hmm. to make it work. Okay. But I have a PDF uh, with it. If you buy it, I have a PDF with that one, uh, which explains how you can use uh -huh. the jumpers. 
Okay, and here, here, this small thing and looks like something for a disk drive. Yes, yeah. it's an uh, the disk drive uh, from an uh, NMS uh, 8245 and uh, 8235. Yeah, can be used uh, with a, a normal uh, floppy uh, connector on the PCB, and the PCB goes into a PC drive. Okay, so. Yeah. You have to modify the PC drive to work with it. That's a, that's a, uh, okay. well, that's standard. But mm -hmm. I see. Also, uh, I saw something that you have on the table that you haven't brought. It's uh, something uh, that has to do with Anma. Yeah, that's uh, it's an uh, a PCB I made from uh, Anma. Is the uh, design. Uh, when they made the games, uh, yeah. they they needed a tracker, and uh -huh. there wa was no tracker on the market. They uh, so they designed their own tracker, and they also made a PCB that they could uh, use the uh, Philips uh, music keyboard straight uh -huh. on the MSX without any other electronics, straight in the cartridge port into uh, their own tracker. Uh -huh. And uh, well, well that's. I have a PCB that uh, where you can use, but it's only one PCB left. So <laughs> no, no, no. So it's for your own use, I guess. No, not not. It, it's it's still that only collector. O only one PCB is still for sale. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, and 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 then uh, what can you do with that PCB? Well, you have to use the 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 tracker software from Anma called RED. You can uh -huh. download it on uh, download it on uh, msx uh, org. <laughs> if you uh, type in Anma and RED, RED uh, one or two, uh, you can find it. Uh -huh. And with that uh, piece of software and that cartridge, you can uh, use any uh, mm -hmm. uh, Philips. Audio keyboard. Uh -huh, I see. Uh, and also, there is something else uh, that you have uh, uh, you have there, that is uh, uh, from the MSX Club Poland. Have yes. You? Yes. Uh, 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 Polish uh, uh, MSX in Poland is something I had no idea at all. I mean, uh, I, um, because I talked with um, Hamlet and to uh, told me that the, there was no MSX uh, at, uh, at the GDR. And uh, only, as far as uh, they know, uh, there was only M6 in the Soviet Union, that project of um, computerized uh, schools and so on. Yeah. Well, t t tell, uh, t tell, uh, can you tell uh, something m more about this? Uh, not a lot. I have a, Poli a Polish uh, last name, but uh, that's the only thing Polish about me. <laughs> okay. But uh, M6 uh, Poland uh, has a Facebook uh, site. And uh, Arnold Kozinski made uh, three types of PCBs, one for a memory expansion, one for an OPL3 card on your MSX. And uh, what did I, oh yeah, a bare EDA interface. And he tested it, it works. Uh, so I wanted to try it out for myself. So I made some PCBs of, uh, in China, and, but I, I got some PCBs extras, so. Uh -huh. But uh, but then uh, it's uh, something for do it yourself. Uh, yes. Uh, so yes. you you only sell the PCB. Yeah, uh, PCBs. Uh, I have also some components, not all, but some of them, for some projects, mm -hmm. and I will sell them uh, for five six euros extra. You can buy them also, but uh, that's only uh, a one time offer. When the PCBs are gone or the components are gone, that's I, all. I, yeah. But you always can contact uh, Arnold Kozinski for the PCBs. Uh -huh. That's no problem. Okay, okay, I see. And uh, I guess th this is all, I guess. Uh, are you doing any project right now? No, no, not, not right now. Uh, I, got, I have some things I make for uh, friends and... Uh, yeah. But nothing that you are going to release? No, no, not at, not, not at the moment. Uh-huh. Uh, not planning to anyway. Okay. You, ne you never know. You never know yeah. exactly. Uh, l then, okay. Let's see what ha what happens. Uh, nice to to meet you. Uh, Thank ho you. Hopefully, 
we are going to have dinner. Uh, are you staying for dinner? Yes. 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 Okay, that's great. Uh, and I hope uh, we can continue talking about uh, something else. Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the meeting. Yes, I, I did. It's uh, it's a great meeting. A lot of people after the COVID. Mm -hmm. So always good. Okay. Thanks for the interview. Okay. Thank you very much to you. And uh, see you uh, next time. Konyech. Okay. <laughs> Konyech. Yeah. See you again. Thank you. Okay.